Hey guys, I'm back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at some leaked pets coming to Prodigy, so let's get into the video. Alright, so if you look at the thumbnail, most of the pets that I'm going to be showing in this video have already been leaked. But the thing about them is that we have no idea what they're going to look like until now because I figured out how to put these spines for these pets together. So we are going to be going ahead and looking at what they are going to look like when they are added into the game. Alright, so this is the first pet. This is an evolution of Fishbowl and Aquariot that I showed yesterday. So, this is what its idle animation looks like. So, it looks just normal. Um, this is what its attack animation looks like. And it will just re keep repeating playing for as long as I show it. So, yeah, it looks pretty cool. And then here is the walk animation for it. So you can see that there are bubbles passing in it and then it has like aqua jets in the back. So yeah, this one looks pretty cool. And the next one that we have to look at is an evolution for Aspthier. So this is what it looks like. Um, you can see that it doesn't look super great. All the quality of this, or these images that, or I guess spines that we're gonna be looking at, none of them look great, but, or in terms of quality, but these should be what they look like. I don't know why the quality is so terrible on them. So this is the evolution for Aspfear. Um, the snake, I believe, actually does blink, yeah. So, this is the idle animation for it. Here is the attack animation. So, it's just like hammering down and it has its glowing hands. And then here is the walk animation for it. So, not anything special, kind of what you would expect it to look like if you were to see the idle animation for it. Alright, so the next three that we're going to be looking at are for the saplet chain. So, this is the first one. This is the saplet variant. So, this is its idle animation. And then, here is the attack animation for it. Sort of looks a little weird. And then, here is the walking animation for it. So, it's just jumping around. And then, here is the arboreal variant for it. So, um, it looks pretty cool. Here is the attack animation for it. So, I think this looks pretty cool. Um, I assumed it would be- I assume it would be more, like, less- or I guess less pixely when it's actually in the game. And then, here is the walk animation for it. Now, here is the sprite for Vine Queen, so... This is what it's going to look like. Here is the attack animation for it. So, it seems to have like the same sort of like orb that is given off when in the arboreal one. So, I think it looks pretty cool. And then here is the walk animation for it. Next up, these ones have sort of already been put in together by people in the community, but they haven't been animated. So, here is the Kemeti one. So, yeah, here is the attack animation for it. Pretty much about what you'd expect, except I don't think that the normal Kemeti has these, like, icicles that follow its tail. So, yeah, that is pretty cool. And then here is the walk animation for it, so about what you'd expect it to look like. Now, here is actually what the second evolution of Galaxy is going to look like, so... We have not known what this is going to look like for a while, so this is what it's going to look like. It looks pretty weird. Now here's the attack animation for it. Um, the mouth on it looks pretty funny, um, but overall, I think the attack animation looks pretty cool. By the way, this is not just going to be straight white down here by the eyebrows. That would probably be like a glow effect with... Um, it not being as opaque, they probably turned down the opacity, but for some reason it doesn't do that on this. And then, here is the walk animation for it, so it has, like, some clouds following it. And then, here is the one for the Ice for Galaxy, so this one looks very cool. It's pretty much exactly what, I believe it was Skyfolk that did it, that put the spine for it together. So, 
this is what it will look like. Here is the attack animation for it, so I think it looks pretty cool. You can see it's like summoning up ice down here, and then the ice comes out when it does its attack. And then here is the walk animation port. So you can see it has the same sort of clouds coming out of it, like how we saw with the previous evolution of it. Next up, we have the squally chain. So this is the first one. This one, um, I don't know why it has these just random, like, yellow lines going through it. Um, it's kind of weird, but that shouldn't be in the final design for it. So this is what the... Um, idle animation looks like it for it. Here is the attack animation for it, so it has like these, I don't even know what you call those, sparks coming out of its hands when it attacks, and its tongue comes out of its mouth. And then here is the walk animation for it, so yeah, this one is pretty cool. Now here's the second variant of this, I can't remember what its original name is called, but we've sort of seen this one in the hard mode, um, backgrounds you can see this pet so this is what it's going to look like in its idle this is its attack animation the eyes i think look really weird in this it kind of looks like um sort of like an eye from the cars movie um i hope it doesn't look exactly like that in the game this looks really weird and then you can see it has the same like sparks coming out of its hands as we saw in the squally variant and then here is the walk animation for it. Now here is the variant for Flurious. So this is its idle animation. And then we have its attack animation where it's just like hitting the ground. Um, and then here is the walking animation for it. Next up we have the Bitbot chain. So this is what I guess the Bitbot one would look like. It looks pretty good. Um, I think these are supposed to be like bolts. I don't know why they look like this in here, as I said before. Um, the quality on these isn't very good. But then we also have the attack animation, which does look pretty cool. So it has like this purple squid coming out of its head and these like gas bubbles coming out from the ground. I think this looks pretty good. And then we have the walk animation for it, which also looks pretty cool. Now, here is the second evolution in the chain. I think this one looks kind of funny, but I still think it looks pretty cool. Now, here is the attack animation for it. So it sort of just like jumps up and its arm goes up in the air. And then the same gas bubbles that we saw in the Bitbot one come out. And then here is the walk animation for it. I think it looks pretty weird, but sort of in a way I like it. And then here is the final evolution for it. So this one I think looks really cool. Um, this is its idle animation. And then here is the attack animation for it, which it kind of just has these like blue orbs that come out of its fish hands. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. And then here is the walking animation. So it's more like a run but I still think it looks pretty good. And then we have the Sarazig or Sarazag, I can't remember which one is which, but this is going to be the um, third evolution of it. So this is the idol for the water one. This is what its attack is going to look like. So it sort of just has like some bubbles coming out of its wings or sparkles maybe. And then this is the walk animation for it. Kind of weird, but it's fine. And then here is the fire third evolution for it. So this one looks really cool. Here is the attack animation for it. It has flames coming out of its wings and it has this like glowing by its eyes. I think it looks pretty good. And then the walking animation is pretty much the same as the water variant of it. So yeah, I think there's going to be a lot more that I can do with this that I haven't figured out yet. I'm gonna do a little more experimenting over the next few days to see what else I can do with this, what other like leak things I can find with this. Cause I think that this is pretty cool and it could open up the door for a lot of things that we don't know what they look like. We can now see what they're going to look like. But yeah, that is going to go ahead and end the video. Let me know what you guys think of this cause I was thinking that this might be a little too far with leaking, but um, I asked my Discord server and they 
thought that this was like a fair amount of leaking. So, um, if you guys don't want me to like leak this much information about a pet, I won't do it, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe if you enjoyed, and bye.